30 seconds of music. That's why it loops so much. I've budget so low. We have 30 second loops. They don't even look well. That would cost too much money. We are already reusing every single asset in the game. Come on, you're done loading. Stop being retarded. Pliat. Okay, come on. Don't be a fucking dead island here. Chernobyl. Six kilometers past the nuclear power plant. Hang tight. We're on our way. Hurry up, will ya? Take it easy. The mercs are still fighting the army. Come on, move the place. We've almost reached the old fuel depot. Should be an army squad there. They're tightening the noose. Can't have any T's getting out of that plant. Any idea how much of that radioactive gunk they're after? All of it. They're looking to start the war. The army's been So what's your plan? First we need to get to zero point. Don't I sound the Russian? Vaguely? Da 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 da. Gonna need some backup. Someone I can trust. I may know a man. Hell, I can use the air. Let's go and introduce ourselves. Yeah, you couldn't hear anything here, so we just stopped the dialogue. I hope you don't mind. Also, yes, this is on maximum settings. This way. Roger that. Almost there. Stay frost. Enemies been looking for weak spots in our lines since yesterday. Looks like they want to make a run for it with the loot. I hear you, but there ain't no taking off from here. They must be trying to slip away on the down low. Ain't nothing but lakes and water here. There are ways into the forest in the northwest. Yeah, heard the Spetsnaz are doing the rounds up there too. I hope you enjoy the subtitle method that they chose for this game. Oh look, you can actually see the inside of some vehicles. So our protagonist, whose voice appears to change a little bit later in the game. Um, sounds a bit like one of the dudes that voices for Arma 2 and, uh, some other shit. By the way, yeah, look at this. Familiar assets, if you couldn't already tell. So, welcome to Chernobyl Commando. Now that I have the sense to fucking move my phone away from the audio cables. Yep, another sliding um, uh, classic, let's call it. Now, unlike Manhunter, I'm just playing this on easy. Because, uh, well, it, in <laughs> for the most part, it isn't any harder than Manhunter, but. Uh, there are some areas that I tried to go through when I did my initial LP attempt at this. They're just bullshit. So, um... Yeah, whatever. Plus, I just wasted three fucking hours trying to fix dead islands, so fuck Techland. I'll play a low-budget shit title. Dollar menu, uh fucking thing from another Polish developer. They may be blatantly reusing ideas and uh, 
assets to a degree that not even Infinity Ward and the entire Activision crew do, but at least their games fucking work. Fucking Techland. The biggest, most well-known fucking Polish developer there is, and they make shit that doesn't even work. Ain't that grand. Hi, I'm the guy from... No, I'm not the guy from the media screen, I'm just... Hitler. I... I can speak without moving mouth. Yeah, even the music's repeated. Being on, uh, easy... Who knows, maybe I can polish this off in, like, two minutes or something. I don't know. Oh, just continue driving. Now see, this is why you need to separate voice and sound effect volume. Because you can't hear shit voice-wise, but the uh, gunfire is not only comprised of really terrible audio clips, it's loud as fuck. Oh, I'm leaving the designated area! <laughs> fuck you. Oh, I better get on the gun. Struck and vulnerable. I quit. I hope you like this turret section. There's at least two more coming up very soon. That dude just teleported. And based on some of the Steam reviews that aren't just worthless garbage fishing for karma points. There's a lot more coming up. Even past that. Oh, there's still an enemy there? Nice save. Yeah, uh, I think it's safe to say that none of the dialogue is going to be all that important. So whatever, we're going to miss it. You can't read it because it's got the kind of subtitles on these people that make sense in an action RPG to like Diablo or the first Witcher. Not saying the first Witcher was an action RPG, but rather... In two out of three camera modes you could use for that game, it, you know, it, that's where that kind of subtitling fits. It doesn't hear. You can't read it. You can't hear it. If I turn up the volume well enough to hear it, then I'm deafened by fucking gun sounds. <laughs> Fuck you. As a positive about doing a game like this, I can pretty well... Nice. Nice. Okay, whatever that was. I can pretty well use my shit quality rendering settings and not really lose a whole lot in the deal. I prefer to not have to use them at all, but, you know... Oh, now you put the fucking subtitle at the bottom. You know, shitty American ISPs love their data caps. That's the one thing I miss about having Time Warner Cable as an ISP. It didn't have data caps. Loading Cinder Block. Careful, man, you might trip. In case there was any doubt, here we have combat music straight from Manhunter. 
Oh hey, it's Zulu's hideout. We must be at the train station. This means we are at the place, the area surrounding Jupiter. Oh yeah, there is melee, that's right. Forgot about that. But, but see, this is great graphical improvement over me and Hunter. Because, uh, you can see inside some trucks. Also, curiously, it does seem like... I don't, I'm not aware of there being any anti-aliasing in this game. Maybe there's some forced FXAA, I don't know. But it does look like the uh, guns at least have a very high poly count. Very smooth looking. More interesting information about this game. Newspaper floats. Oh wait, no, this can be explained. We're in, in the area surrounding Chernobyl. Therefore, these are anomalies. Huh? Everything is related to Stalker if it involves Ukraine area. Also, I am become this dude. Herper of Derps. But I was inside him, how could I possibly have shot him? <sighs> Unofficially, this game is also part of a uh, trilogy of what I kind of sort of call uh, Chernobyl exploitation from this developer. There's this game, Chernobyl Terrorist Attack. Apparently this game's uh, original title was Chernobyl Terrorist Attack 2, but much like Sniper the Manhunter got renamed to Manhunter, this was renamed to Commando, Chernobyl Commando. And there's also a newer one called Chernobyl Underground, which from what I hear is actually a bit uh, different. It isn't supposed to to be this uh, exact same playstyle. Maybe it has new music too, who knows. And I don't want to rip on Sliden too much because they are definitely a low budget independent developer. Oh, that's my ally. Okay, I can shoot my alley that ally that many times. Alley shoot my alley, yeah. We'll fuck is this? Everybody loves Raymond. Flea, 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 suka, flea. I'm already drunk, dealing with bullshit. Also, it's New Year's Eve. Fuck. So. I have excuse for retardation once again. Now we are taking over of the train station. Is something in the background fucking with things because my frame rate in a game like this should not be as low as 30s and 40s. That's okay in Far Cry 3, even though that. Clear. Let's move out to the other side. Long way to go. No choice. Walking's our only option right now. Our boys should be somewhere near the plant. Yeah, motherfucking player character. <laughs> his his name is Yuri, but he speaks with. Speaks English with perfect American accent, like an American would. Ho ho ho! Let's climb bridge. That was easy. But yeah, this this voice actor, at least for right now, definitely sounds like somebody from Arma 2 who also played the uh, player character in. Alpha Prime. Okay, time for another 12 hour loading screen. I think the loading screen music might actually be the only non reused music here.
But yeah, ostensibly Chernobyl Underground is supposed to be different and actually have uh, major improvements. By major, I mean noticeable <laughs> improvements visually in the engine. Might have to give that a try, but uh, I probably missed the sales because I decided not to get them immediately. And the other you will see That's where we cross. quality of this game. They must be controlled by the terrorists. You hunker down there and you can control the whole side of the planet. Yep. The front entrance is no go. Put on our backs before we can even knock. It's time to restart game already. What the hell? You paid me to be in this shit. Uh, can you just pay me to get out of it? That area leads through the cooling. I already had no idea if this happens every level load. I haven't gone past this level. Down there, and you've got control of the holy side of the plant. The front entrance is no go. They'll be on our backs before we can even knock. Wanna bet? Yeah. Spoiler alert! Up ahead in this level, there are some really Whoa. retarded uh, turret sections that were practically impossible. Oh, hey, look! It's the chemical plant or whatever it is. Oh, can't explore. It's the place you get the radio components for nitro from. Whoa. Yeah. Nice mustache. Just like Manhunter, we have civilians just kind of thrown into the mix. For some reason, also taking part in shoot the player activities note that just like Manhunter the AK-47 is kinda garbage I would wager the only reason it seems to kill faster here is because I'm playing on the shittiest difficulty. Playing in baby mode. In the case you're wondering why I'm not using this, it fucking sucks compared to in Manhunter. Let's see, look, three shots to kill one dude. Oh, they killed that guy in one. Oh, that's great. They cut down the ammo capacity. Wait, is this the guy? No. They chopped the ammo capacity <clears throat> to a third of what it was in Manhunter, and then make the gun weaker. What's the point? Congratulations. They're very close to where I quit. Oh no, I better not die on easy mode, that would be really fucking embarrassing. Just dying the 30 times I did on that really stupid motherfucking turret section. Um, when I first tried to LP this, uh, was that would have at least been reasonable. For reasons that were shown in the footage that had uh, that had to deal with a certain case of shift delete key. If you don't copy, okay. Um, the bearer was connected to his life force. Wow. You can't even change the field of view in this game, and you can already see how bad the reload animation there is. See, these other ones you can at least, you know, not see the hand, just put this same magazine you just pulled out back into the gun. Yep, this gun sucks. Let's use our totally useful stealth sniper. 
Oh look! It actually hits where the chevron of the scope is pointing. How useful. Now how about this weapon that I don't think I really used? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Don't think I'll have it. Yeah, but it's the Dragonov, which for some reason is treated as bolt action. Eat to the gun and hold your position. Why would I want to do that? I'm being shot at before I can even get to it. I'll just shoot these dudes, whatever. Eventually they stop respawning and then you have to get on the gun. Then the scripts will fire up and... It'll be like every fucking turret section in every game that's had one. Enemies will appear out of nowhere. And continue doing so, running into the same spots over and over. Meanwhile, this uh, mounted gun will be just as inconsistent as it was last time I played this. Sometimes you put the crosshair right on a dude, it'll shoot and hit the dude. Other times you put the crosshair right on a dude and nothing will happen. And God help you if they're prone. God help you if they're prone. You'll never hit him. Of course you can't zoom in at all. Not even move your head a little closer. Like I'm lean I'm leaning over my desk right now. Okay. I better get on car. Silent explosion. I hope you enjoyed that last third section because look, we're in another one! More enemies will spawn where there were none before. Blah, 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 blah. He's hoping this is actually completable in this difficulty because, for fuck's sake. It wasn't on hard. Move big. So, yeah, this is where your player character's voice changes for some reason to this dude's voice. I don't know fucking why. Does it make sense for the driver to say, move big? No, you have to go this way now. That. Yep, it's looking like it's gonna be possible on easy. On tough difficulty, which is what I tried this on before, nope. You don't even get the chance for your health to regenerate, ever. You can kill all the targets in an area as quickly as you possibly can with this inconsistent accuracy piece of fucking garbage. And no matter what... Christ, there are more fucking enemies! There are more fucking enemies right here than there are in a higher difficulty. What's the fucking deal? You could kill all the enemies here, and your health wouldn't fully regenerate before you got to the next set. Then you just fucking die. Also, I'm gonna take a drink. <sighs> fucking die already, fucking die already.
Will I get regeneration? There we go. We are now in virgin territory. I've never made it to this part before. Oh, shouldn't have shot that. I've been killed about a thousand fucking times in this stupid driving sequence because barrels decided that they wanted to wait to explode until I... Why are you going back this way? Come on, we're leaving now. You're driving. Why are we circling back around? What's the fucking point? We're leaving now. No, just kidding. We're just gonna park here. Okay. In this place. Let's recon the area. We just fucking did! Couple more clicks and we'll be there. Then let's move. Then let's move. You would have known that he said that more easily if you know, the subtitles showed where I'll they were supposed the to show. Take a look around. Roger that. You scan the area. I'll scout around here. Cover me. You can count on it. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? I just scouted the area on the back of a fucking truck. Whatever. <sighs> Everything seems so fucking trivial, but keep in mind I'm on the lowest difficulty. If, uh, if I was on the high... I should have kept the fucking footage. So I kept dying when the truck got to around maybe here. Whoop! A truck! Shoot them! Roger. Only one way to find out. Shoot the trucks! Ho 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 ho! <laughs> okay, trucks exploded. Shit is everywhere. Yep, there is radioactive shit in those trucks. How the fuck am I supposed to cover you? Can't see shit. Unless the trucks start coming over here. Oh, shoot the big red target. Oh, my immersion! Let's stealth snipe now! See it. Well, fuck stealth sniping then, if you're just gonna run ahead and alert the fucking world. Better make sure that I go down the ladder by using the ladder. Otherwise, I may break scripting. And then be stuck, unable to finish the game. This is my super side strafe moves for the three seconds I have stamina for. <clears throat> Shit explodes and then I get shot through a building. Wow! Don't hit a single bullet. No, don't do that. Not worth using. Not worth using. Not much more worth using. How about this? Let's pistol our way out of here. Pistol confirmed. Better weapon than AK. So, confirmed, a suppressed Walther P99 is stronger than an AK-47. Wow! Getting closer. Let's see if I have to restart the game, because there's geometry errors.